Yo, what's up everybody? My name is Jesse and I'm the founder and grandmaster of MMA, Mexican Martial Arts. The other day I was on Facebook clearing out my DMs because my lady needed to borrow my computer when I came across an interesting video. Most of you have probably already seen this, but I decided to break it down for you and show you how it could have ended much differently. So the first thing this fool did right was the I have eyes in the back of my head strategy. This intimidation tic tac gives up the impression of a heightened sense of awareness. At this very moment, his gaze is locked onto both the opponent and the weenies. As you can see right here, this fool is giving the store clerk the opportunity to swing first. Most Mexican martial arts practitioners already have one or two strikes and are encouraged not to throw the first punch. But the clerk doesn't bite, so he goes for the flinch instead, and it doesn't work. For a split second, he's earned his respect. But this fool knows by now that this video is gonna end up on YouTube, World Star, and Ellen. He can't go out like that. He proceeds to talk papas, and then he gets stuck. This is not good MMA strategy. We have a phrase in Mexican martial arts. Flow like a butterfly, run like Mayweather. You gotta keep your feet moving like you got La Chona playing in your head at all times. The next mistake is that he didn't secure a bystander before attempting the haymaker. If you don't know what I'm talking about, then you need to watch my video on Mexican Boxing, which focuses on the Haymaker and the Mayweather strategy. What you're about to witness is what happens without securing a bystander. And now this fool has to go back and tell his homies that he got knocked out by some fool wearing skinny jeans. Mamacita. This scenario could have had a much different outcome with the use of Mexican martial arts. Don't be like this guy. Sign up for some free lessons by subscribing to this YouTube channel. Thank you for watching Mexican Martial Arts. Appreciate it. Good looking out. Late.